That's another question I get a lot. Oh, charlatan, how should I sit? How should I make my posture? Oh, charlatan, should I sit on this chair? Should I sit here? Listen, listen here, punk. Listen here, punk. It doesn't matter how you sit. If you want to be a goblin, be a goblin. I don't care. You should be concerned about how to sit only because of your health and your spine. And I recommend you to sit straight. But there are two things that you need to, to know when it comes to sitting and posture in gaming in FPS games. Uh, first thing is that you need to have some kind of point of stability on your right hand. Basically that point of stability can be your elbow or your forearm. So you need to place either your forearm or your elbow tucked in the table or the arm uh, arm rest. That will give you a lot more stability to your aim. If your elbow is floating around like a snake, like it, 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 it's bad. It's very bad because then you don't have any point of stability for your aim, and your aim will go. If you go full on ninja mode, bro, it will be. You know. The second point of stability you need to have is your feet. Your feet need always to be on the solid ground. Basically, your feet need to be on the solid ground at all times. Your feet should not be flying around. You're not. You're not. You're not making a porn movie, you know, you're not making a porn movie, like, like, bro, you're not spreading your legs, your feet needs to be on the solid ground, at all times 24-7, because that will give the stability to your whole body, so if your feet is just, woo, hop, pound me, baby, pound me, baby, oh, like, like, you know, you know, like, that's very bad, that's very bad, like, have some stability, bro, have some stability, like, put your feet on the mother effing ground, like, that's why ground exists, like, uh, you should not be, oh, hmm, such a sweet ground, uh, mm, that carpet is so beautiful, I will never stand on that carpet again, bro, step on that mother effing carpet and give him some feet treatment, bro, because that will give the stability to your whole mother effing body so no spreading legs no men spreading no floating around you're not elon musk going in space with the spacex ships tesla here and there you are a competitive esports player that wants to go pro or maybe wants to reach a higher rank whatever you're the gamer you should also take care of your health take care of your health like try to sit straight as possible like it really doesn't matter which chair you have i hate gaming chairs gaming chairs are the biggest scam ever uh, of course, if some gaming chair company loves to sponsor me, like, no problem, bro, I'll, I'll sit on 24-7 in some high, high-level gaming chair, like eShark, Secret Lab, like, uh, you, Secret Lab, um, come, 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 Papito loves uh, gaming chairs, but uh, I hate uh, sitting in gaming chairs, like, especially those low-tier, like, they are so bad for the spine, so bad for the body, like, I literally sit on the conference chair, do you wanna see my chair? Here is my chair, look at, look at this, look, look at this, look at this. It's a, it's, it's a conference chair. It's a conference chair. Just look at it. Look at it. Do you know how much that chair costs? It costs ten uh, ten dollars. Ten dollars. I've sa I've sat at the chairs that costed uh, that cost. Uh, I think my, my my most expensive chair was six hundred euros. Six hundred euros bro and that chair was uncomfortable as f it really doesn't matter on which chair you sit uh, and how you sit the the main thing is have stability of your right arm have the stability of whole body sit straight because you want to be healthy man you want to be a healthy girl you don't want to be a goblin you don't want to be a undead you know Build more ziggurats, more ziggurats required, like no Warcraft 3. My life for Nazul. You want to be esports competitive player, and also you want to fuck some days maybe, or get fucked, you know, I don't know which which gender you are, but uh, like, like, trust me, one day you will want to go out in the world, right now you're tucked in your little mm, gaming uh, rig, uh, gaming setup, and you're like, oh bro, I wanna play video games professionally, I wanna be a professional gamer, trust me, one day you will go out in the world and you'll be like, oh, I, I'm so sad I didn't took the charlatan's advice to go into gym, to train, to sit straight, to look good, look beautiful, be alpha, alpha male and, 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 and women as well, like, women can be alpha as well. The point of the story is, be healthy gamer. Don't be a unhealthy piece of crap that is going to regret uh, something in 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 life uh, later on. Like uh, trust me, go. In I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to motivate. I'm not here uh, speaking shit about you. I'm here to motivate you to tell you, 
pull your fucking ass out of your chair and go work out anything anything lift uh, bottles lift uh, lift uh, i don't know some pigs if you live on the farm lift the cows lift anything bro anything like like go run go run run around the uh, around the building anything do anything because you need other dopamine levels in life if gaming is the only dopamine you get in life you will get cooked bro like trust me like i i i've been there i've done that like i my 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 only dopamine levels were gaming was gaming basically like i, I i've been only playing games when i was competing professionally in csgo and pubg my life was miserable yes i was earning tons of money yes their uh, teams everything everything was perfect and good but bro like uh, my life was depression like uh, 12 hours 16 hours of vod reviews gaming practice training trust me sometimes you don't know the thing that you that you want to have in life trust me maybe it is not the right thing for you there is a very small percentage of people that are truly happy in esports and a lot of those pro players after they finish being pro they disappear they never exist they they don't save the money they don't make their businesses they spend their money and they are working in a grocery store in a as as, as a baker or something like that like uh, and they hate their life forever i don't say those jobs are bad like every job is good as long as it provides food for your family but when you go that high and sink that low in a matter of months you are cooked man bro i don't know how how do you end up in uh, talking about this i should make a dr k channel dr charlatan bro dr charlatan eh? <laughs> so the point of the story how sh how should you hold your mouse like and uh, how should you sit uh, uh i already explained it really doesn't matter how you sit as long as you have the stability for your arm and for your feet and also when you're holding your mouse there are different holding styles uh, for example my mouse mouse grip is some kind of fingertip palm so I palm plus fingertip, but it really doesn't matter how you hold your mouse as long as you can really grip it tight and you feel comfortable with it. Like uh, there are different styles of grip, like this is a some, somewhat palm plus fingertip. This is a claw grip. There, there are different grip styles, like I cannot tell you how to grip your mouse. This is, this is the most natural way for me. So I grip it like this. I have two fingers on the side here. They give me the stability for the mouse. They don't do anything. They're pure stability. And I have uh, this middle finger is pressing this button and scroll. This index finger or pointy finger, I don't know how to call it, is the shooting finger. And for thumb, I use the mouse button 4 and mouse button 5. And that's how I hold my mouse and aim in, in FPS games. Like, uh, that's how I hold it myself. I, I feel that is the natural way for me, but maybe it will not be... Uh, natural way for you, you know, like, who knows? Uh, games bring me depression, that's why I play the piano. Ooh, music is uh, one of the most wonderful things to do, uh, besides gaming. Like, music and gaming are the best things in life. Like, I, 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 when somebody asks me, uh, what you love to do in life, music and gaming. It can be stressful because uh, you need to learn the chords, you need to learn this, that, but once you get the hang of it, and once you click uh, it's such a uh, such a unimaginable pleasure unimaginable pleasure, but you need to go through that hell hole You know like like uh, there is no success in life if you don't uh, uh, Suffer a bit if you don't uh, go through a bit of depression Suffering uh, and a bit of uncomfortable zone for you the more the more you put yourself out there The more uncomfortable you are the more you're outside of your comfort zone the the, the stronger you become and the more things you learn in life. If you're your whole life in a little bubble, then you will learn nothing and uh, you will not experience the life, you will not experience the world and you will spend your whole life in that little uh, basement of yours. And that's just how it is. Sad but true. <laughs> Started talking about crouching and finished making me wanting to die. What, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this should motivate you bro this should motivate you change your life if you if you if you want to die from this talk like what the hell bro come on man come on don't do me like that don't do me like that <laughs>